Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we've got a requested video that discusses the tension and how to adjust it on your sewing machine. Now jumping right in, you can see that I'm rotating the tension wheel. This is pretty much standard on all home sewing machines. Typically they're all numbered 0 to 9, most of the ones that I've seen. Uh, 9 being the tightest of tension, 0 being the least tension. And what the sweet spot I call it from 2 to 6 is what you're going to use for most of your projects. Now I'm just going to first start off with two pieces of uh, regular cloth, just thin cloth on one. And I'm going to spare you from the sewing part, but you'll be able to see here, it looks pretty decent. You can see our top stitch, and you can see our bobbin stitch, and it looks pretty good. And it's going to remain that way pretty much through all these tension settings with just two pieces. Uh, tension is important because you want to bring the thread so that the two threads, your top thread and your bobbin thread, meet in the middle of your fabric and form a nice, strong, pretty stitch. Good looking stitch. And that's that's the, you can see right there between one and three, there's not a whole lot of difference that you can tell. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to ratchet it up to right around six, which is the end of the comfort zone, I think, if you're just using regular you know, material that you're sewing with. And you'll be able to see here that you're still not going to get a ton of difference. Um, we'll, we'll bring it in a little bit closer and you can see the bobbin stitch poking through on the thread and now you can see the bobbin stitch on the bottom with the top stitch, top thread coming through and it looks comparable to our other settings. We'll tighten it up a little bit more. I was going to go 8 here and I, I actually did a line of 8 but we're going to just skip to 9 because there wasn't a lot of difference with 8 either and we'll take a look at 9 and you know, still pretty good. Um, off camera, when you look at this inspected in real life, it's it's not perfect as it should be around a three or a four, but it's pretty decent. You can see at the end here something that we don't want, which is basically just the the bobbin thread being held on by the top thread, which happened at the end there. It didn't really happen too much um, just at the beginning and the end of the stitch, but you kind of want want to avoid that. So now we've got all of our stitches and you can see also on the nine that it's pulling a little bit tighter on the fabric. There's more gather on the fabric than there would be in the beginning when we started off with a one, three, a six. When you get up to the nine there, you can see that the, the, the fabric's pulling together a little bit tighter. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of white felt and I'm going to lay our little test fabric on top of this. And then we're going to sew uh, the same tensions right next to our existing ones so you can see the difference of what it looks like with a thicker material. And like I said, the purpose of the tension is you want your two threads to meet in the middle, the sandwich, the very middle of your fabric sandwich. So you have a good looking top stitch and a good looking bottom stitch or bobbin stitch. So we've got it set to zero here and the top stitch looks pretty decent can't really see that bobbin stitch coming through too well on the top like you can on our first one but when you flip it over and you look at the bottom stitch it's terrible um, basically it's just a straight line of bobbin thread and you can see the, the little loops of the top stitch coming down and not pulling it up towards the middle of the fabric where it needs to be. You can see it's just kind of hanging loose there so that would be too little tension when your bobbin thread is not being pulled and drawn up through towards the middle of the, the material. And like I said, it looks pretty decent from the, well, it looks okay from the top, not great, but the bobbin, the bottom was terrible. So now we'll just, we'll tighten it up a little bit. We'll go to one and we'll make our stitch here next to our initial stitch, which was just the two plies of fabric. and. Now we've got a, a, a better looking stitch. This was our two plies. The top was our with our uh, our thicker material with our felt on there, and you can't notice a lot of difference. And you can see that it's still not perfect there. That bottom stitch is not drawing towards the middle of our fabric. It's not pulled up by the top stitch. So we'll go ahead and ratchet it up a little bit more. We've got the tension set at close to four now. 
uh, between three and four and we'll make our stitch and now you can see on the top there that you can finally see that the bobbin thread is pulling our pulling our stitch down a little bit and as I said before that's the goal is to have your two threads interlock in the middle so you've got a good looking top and bottom so this is kind of what it looks like um, on the bottom here and this is the previous tension and our first tension and we're slowly getting to where we want it to be I wouldn't say that this is the perfect tension yet um, and it's a lot easier to see in person but I'm just trying to give you an idea of how this works I think the perfect tension for this is going to be five um, but we'll go ahead and we'll run six see how that looks and when you start going the other way now when we start tightening it up too much the opposite's going to happen what was happening on the bottom is now going to happen on the top stitch where the top stitch is going to start laying just on the top of the material and the bobbin stitch won't pull it through the sandwich when you don't have enough tension and that's another thing you want to avoid so you kind of want to find that middle and what I suggest to do is just try you know whatever material you're using if you're, if you're sandwiching some things together doing some quilting or whatever you take a test piece of whatever your end thickness is going to be and just run a few different tensions and try it out and see what looks good on the top and the bottom um, so you can see there that we've got a decent looking bottom stitch and that was our previous one um, it keeps getting a little bit better like I said I think five is going to probably be about the, the best for this but now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just crank it all the way up to nine this is what I was just talking about now we've just got basically a, a line of thread running across the top there I know it's kind of hard to see but it's the exact opposite of what was happening when we set it at zero so we don't have enough draw coming from the bobbin we don't have enough tension to pull the thread down through the middle and it's just kind of kind of sit there and not look so great now this is felt so it kind of sinks in a little too easy but um, that's basically it you want to get your you want to get your two stitches to meet in the middle of your sandwich and that is the purpose of tension there's little tricks that you can do with tension if you want to make the gathers like I showed earlier um, when we did that nine it was a little a little tighter a little bit more gather but uh, there you have it so that's really it as I finish up here I'm just gonna examine these stitches and as I suspected I think the five is about what's right for this so I'll go ahead and adjust the tension I'll do one more stitch show you that what that looks like but I just want to thank everybody for watching I hope this video helped if you have any questions or comments please leave those below and if you haven't done so yet please subscribe share the video with your friends and now that it's October I'm gonna to try to do some Halloween projects possibly so check back next week thanks a lot everybody I'm purified and thanks for watching Burley so